Oh, hi guys, welcome along today. Exciting day, new motorcycle day. Woo! <laughs> uh, not for me, unfortunately. Um, today we're gonna go up to Raceway Motorcycles in Fleetwood, near Blackpool, or in Blackpool. Bob Dobelina has bought himself a new motorbike. So say hello, Bob Dobelina. Bob Dobelina! <laughs> So yeah, we're uh, we're off to pick up a new bike. Unfortunately, the motorcycle disease has hit Bob really hard, so he needs some some therapy and a bit of medicine. So we've got to go and buy another bike. Uh, and I'm going to tell you what it is. We're going to say it's got two pistons. Uh, it's got two headlights. It's a bit of a Marmite bike. Some people really really like them. Some people hate them. Um, but a really nice special machine. So yeah, we're on the road. We've just stopped. Got some breakfast. We've got one of uh, Gregory's finest sausage and pastry savouries so we're going to have that and continue on the way up the country so we'll see you there one thing i did forget to mention is we've just met the real life percy pig so uh yeah that was eventful oh, Batman. Batman. <laughs> the oh yeah <laughs> Scratch! Oh, get your butt scratch! Oh. Nicholas Cage, isn't it? Big <laughs> 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 just hopped into their caravan and took shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, before then. They've got to unload a bang on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, here we are, guys. We're getting up there now, about 10 miles away from Blackpool. Just stop for a little rest because getting this far north starting to get a little bit of altitude sickness. So just take it nice and easy. Plus Bob needed his excited adrenaline poo just before he goes to look at the motorcycle so he can concentrate. So we we'll stop there. Um, just give you a little few more hints on what it might be. So it has got some under seat body warmers on it, under seat tailpipes. Um, it has got lots of little Gucci bits and pieces hanging off of it, a bit of a special edition. Like I say, for its time, very, very modern, uh, a modern bike for its time, which is why it became a bit of a Marmite bike. It comes from the land of Filipobelio, Filipobelio, olive oil and Cornetto ice creams. And if you was to ring the emergency services, you might well get one of these show up. Can you guess what it is yet? So here we are, guys. Raceway Motorcycles up in Fleetwood, home of the McCann's Yamaha racing team. Jason O'Hara and the BSB team. Nice big showroom there. We're going to have a little look around, and we're here to look at the Italian stallion. So let's go and find it. Look even better with some spaghetti on it, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> Body burner. <laughs> Second bike with a body burner. <laughs> really nice. So here it is, Bob. Bob Dobbin. Nine nine nine. S. S. The super. <laughs> Super, super fast. The year is it? 2003? Bye, Posto. Didn't know I could speak Italian, did you? I didn't, no. Multilingual. <laughs> Termi body burner. Carbon fibre. Olines. Very nice. Should we start it up? Yeah, start it up. Oh, I've got all the 
So it's now at this point that Bob's authentic Italian superbike ownership experience really began with the 999 not starting there. Looks to be an issue with the neutral light not coming on, so possibly the light or the switch. However, it's not allowing the bike to start. Uh, ironically, when I went and bought my Aprilia, exactly the same situation, the bike wouldn't start. So hopefully we can get this one going. Um, the guys at Raceways are gonna have a look at it. No fault of theirs. They've, had a, they've given the bike a good once over, had it started in the morning before we came. Have, it's had a service check, an MOT. It's literally one of those things. So let's see what they can, they can do. Leave them to have a look at it. Let's go and have a little wander around the showroom and see what bikes we've got inside. Ah, so a, well, welcome to 999 ownership. <laughs> so Raceways is owned and run by Steve Rogers and they are a premier UK Yamaha dealer and also a GYTR Pro shop. They're also the official Yamaha Motor UK team in British Superbikes and Steve's been involved in racing for over 30 years. Uh, the highlight of their success came in 2021, taking Taron McKenzie to the British Superbike title. Unfortunately, they're taking a step back from racing after 2023, so it'll be their last season in BSB, uh, but the dealership will still continue to operate. Uh, they've got everything here from new bikes, used bikes, riding gear, advice. All the staff are super, super friendly, and they're all basically just keen, keen motorcycle enthusiasts. Um, I've managed to have a good chat with a chap called Anthony Clegg, who's uh, a member of the McCams um, BSB race team, who is mechanic in Jason O'Halloran's bike. Uh, I had it in the workshop, stripping it and prepping it ready for the upcoming round at Alton Park. Um, I'm not going to show you what we saw in there or any of the conversation we had, just to protect any sensitive information that might get out. But the bikes really are a, a real piece of art, a real work of art with all the little trick details and uh, Anthony is a very knowledgeable guy, and very, very friendly, open to chat to. So let's take you guys for a little wander around the showroom, uh, the used bike showroom, new bike showroom. Show you what they've got in there. They've got some really, really special factory machines in there, some limited edition stuff, some rare stuff, just some beautiful exotic stuff, including Taron McKenzie's 2021 BSB winner. So we'll show you around, so we'll show you what's in there, and hopefully in that time, they can get the big old Ducati started. Got space in the van for that? <laughs> Put money in the bank. Oh, no, run out. Oh, look at them. 848 Evo course. Yeah, I know. We're, we're getting to that. It's very nice, isn't it? I like that colour. <coughs> Something different. Super 848, 959. Oh, it's quite good. Really SP2, TZR, TZR, R7, R1, R1, race bike. That is mega spec. Mm. Is this the gem before you? Yes. That's the last, I think that's the last of the five valve, but that's a special one because it's got the Olins on it. I don't know what that. Yeah, special bike. This is a special machine, isn't it? Yamaha R7. Yeah, they're like 40 grand. That's like a can on it. A whopper. Because your ad is a shame. What a whopper. <laughs> Pure two stroke spirit. There it is. Somebody treated himself to so a very nice SP2. Bimota. Mm, very nice. They just look like from what you see online. I mean,
people mm. too much to look at. Cobble, cobble, cobble. It's almost green, isn't it? That's nice. Yeah. I like that, isn't it? Larry green colour. Proper Kawasaki colour. Mm -hmm. Z900RS. RS, really sporty, yeah? yeah. Z900, really sporty. XJR 1300. <laughs> Scrambler 1100, they're pretty cool. Mm. Ducati. Classic, Vulcan. How big is engine? Big. <laughs> Very large. And fancy a bonnie. It's a bonnie thing. What a mad sage, maybe. Nice collection of MT10s. Mm. Very nice. What do you reckon then, Bob? So, something for all ages. <laughs> <laughs> this one fit me. <laughs> <laughs> That's yours. <laughs> oh, there they are. They've got my size uh, kit as well. Something rather special in the corner, isn't it? A few trophies. They are super big jeans, BFG jeans. Do you think somebody was taking the mick when this came out of the factory? <laughs> the Yamaha Delight. Mmm, <laughs> delightful. Easier than he thought? <laughs> yeah, because we didn't really need to do it. Just plugged it back in. It, well, it was so there was a bit of corrosion on it, so right, it just needed just cleaned to clean it, it up. But oh, okay. we had Tiny already wiring. swapped them and it didn't work. Yeah, so it's like, what's going on? So then we've taken the actual, he called it like a bullet. Yeah, like just the connector Take, on yeah, it. Taken that out and it was just a bit of corrosion on it, cleaned it up and it's nice. It's just fire up. Easy yeah. fix. That's nice. We like that. Go on. Not that. Up. You know that for future now as well. Then. <laughs> Tractor, Massey Ferguson. Definitely got to work on your tan. <laughs> what do you think? The Italian stallion? Italian stallion. It's very nice. No, 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 nice. I think you better go and sort the man out some money. There she is, Bob. Bob Dobbelina. Loaded in a van. Ready to hit the road. 
hit the road. Yeah. Where are we Chippy off to? First. Where are we going? Mugello? Oh, I think so. I Imola? We've got a couple of days off. Mizano? Well, here we go, mate. Fantastic guys up here at Raceway Motorcycles. Be sure to check them out online. Lots of stuff going on up here. Nice cars, nice motorbikes. Got the race team in this building. I had a good chat with one of the fellas, one of the race mechanics. Showroom, sales room, levers, helmets, anything you want. Check them out, Raceway Motorcycles. Up in Fleetwood. Right, Chippy T. Chippy T. So Bob, this doesn't look like the pasta kind of place. This looks more like fish and chips. I'm trying to think of Italian fish. <laughs> so here we are. 999S. Yes. Chippy T. Snow hazes. So ladies and gents, little situation report. We are slowly making our way back south. The altitude sickness is wearing off. Uh, we've just stopped for some Arangini and an espresso. <laughs> Very nice, keeping up with the Italian theme. Uh, it's about a 700 mile round trip. So I'm feeling like a truck driver. The truck driver tan is coming on quite nicely on the right arm there. I've managed to uh, not murder any prostitutes either en route, which is perfect, you know. And unbelievably, the Ducati's made it this far and it's not broken down yet. So, we'll see you when we get it out of home. Twins! 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 Fook me! Fook you! Fook me! Fook you! So anyway guys, here we are, the morning after, uh, Bob Dobolina's here, but he's actually changed his name to Giovanni Dobolina today. Giovanni Dobolina. <laughs> so, obviously last night we got back a little bit late, um, it was a bit dark to get the bikes out and stuff, so we've unloaded them this morning, take them out for a quick run together. Um, Giovanni, just to give the viewers at home a little insight here, you was after something practical, bit more upright, bit more of a sort of daily user, yeah? So, yeah, that's exactly what I was after. so you've traveled 700 miles, 12 hours to buy an Italian superbike that didn't start when we got there and was difficult to insure, yeah? <laughs> Are you sure you're not Italian? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys, here it is, uh, 999S. Uh, this has got the Olin's suspension, front forks, Brembo brakes, Olin's steering damper, Olin's rear shock, forged Mascherini wheels on it, and this has got the Termi body pipes on it as well. So I don't think they were an S special that's been added on afterwards, but it has got a red frame, which was a, a factory option, red or silver frame. And we believe this is a 1098 Tricolori colour scheme that's been put on this. So I don't think this is the standard colour scheme, but it really, really suits the bike. That looks absolutely stunning. Fantastico! <laughs> so yeah, we're just getting out and seeing what it's all about. Having a bit of fun, making some noise. And hopefully, we'll be able to give you folks a full review on the channel soon. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've got to get back to uh, prepping the R1 for Alton Park and uh, Giovanni Dobolina's 675 Triumph Forks need a little bit of sorting after, so we'll get on to that. But I hope you've enjoyed the ride along, guys. If you're thinking about going and buying a motorcycle, don't think about it too long and hard. Just go and do it. Life's too short. Take care. Ta-ta.